Hello everyone, it is me, I am back with another video and today it's another convention vlog. As of filming this intro, I have about three weeks left in the convention, so it's all happening. In this video, I unbox my zines, I design some new stickers as you just saw, I start working on some earrings, some prints, I start working out my table layout for the convention, it's crazy. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I've got all of my test prints and my test stickers done, I'm dropping them. I'm happy with most of them, but I definitely think I'm going to need more artwork, so we'll see how we go with that. <laughs> so these are all of the stickers that you saw. We have this little 4x6 print, I am going to do other 4x6 prints, but this one in particular I wanted to test because I've never printed it before. And I'm really happy with it. This one, I don't hate it, but I also don't really like it that much. It's not bad, but do I want to sell it? I don't know. Same as this one. I really like the drawing, but do I like it as a print? I'm gonna need y'all to help me decide here because I am useless. Then we have this one once again. Like the artwork. Do I like it as a print? Will it sell? I don't know. <laughs> I'm being such a negative Nancy over here. The next one I like. This is a print on my online store, so I'm pretty happy with this one. Willing to sell. We've got to keep up. This one's a new one as well. I've never made a print out of it before, and I really like it. I'd buy that. I don't know if anyone else would, but... <laughs> then we have this one. I really like the colors in this one. I have one of these up on my wall, so you know I like it if I put my own print on my wall. <laughs> this is the artwork that I sent in when I got featured in Cathar subscription box so happy with that one this one adorable I love it it's on my wall it might be out of frame <laughs> so we're happy with that one this is one of the few older pieces of art that I'm still happy with like there's definitely things in it like his eyes look too small to me his teeth look way too big but like overall I like it as a print so it doesn't really matter that it's old for some reason this one got cropped really weirdly but once I figure out how to actually print it properly that will be one of the ones that I sell. This is another older piece that obviously I still have some issues with because it's like two years old now but but overall I like the concept, I like the vibe, we're sticking with it. This one, I don't know how this one's gonna go down. I mean in my opinion it's gorgeous. I love the colors, I love the concept but she got her titties out and I don't know if you're allowed that at a convention but like they're not out out. Hello? My mum just walked past the window while I'm like, look, look at these titties. <laughs> this one, adorable. I love it. We're keeping it. This one's a newer one as well. I actually have a video on this piece, so I will link it in the eye, wherever the eye is. I don't know anymore. This is another one that got cropped really weirdly by the printer. It is scaled up a tiny bit, so like there's a little bit of drop in the quality, but I don't think it's massive. So we've got Hen and his hens, and I think it's adorable. This one I've never printed before, and I'm really excited about. Don't know who the target audience is, but I like it, so I'm gonna bring it along with me. This is a page out of my sketchbook of Rusty. Uh, don't know how this one's gonna go down in public either, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Everyone's got their titties out. Why do I always draw people with their titties out? Then we have our first A4 print. This is the cover of the zine. I thought it would look cool as a print. Don't know if I'm keeping the title in there, but there's a gaping blank space above his head without it, so... And then this one... 
This one's a little bit of a disaster. Uh, it looks a little bit better on camera, but in real life, this print is so dark and dingy and not in a good way. So I'll have to play around with like the brightness and the saturation. I am feeling better than I was this morning about my prints. I think seeing them all as physical prints, getting the overall vibe, I am liking it. I will need more, but I'm not quite as stressed about it. So I think what I need to do tomorrow is maybe set up my table display so that I can get like a better idea of the space that I need to fill because honestly at the end of the day I'd rather have too many prints than not enough. Like I don't want it to look sparse and not knowing the sort of customers that are coming to this convention I want something for everyone basically. But we can figure all that out tomorrow. I have been in the studio since like 6.30 this morning. It is currently 5.30 in the afternoon so I think the last thing I'm going to do for the day is order more sticker paper because the sticker paper that I have was just a sample pack and then I'm gonna call it a day. So I will see you tomorrow. It is officially one month until the convention and I'm scared. <laughs> I've done two or three table layouts in the past for conventions that never ended up panning out and looking back on the photos, they're very sparse and I don't like that. You're given a certain amount of space, I want it to be filled to the brim with products and I don't know if I have enough. So let's see what we're working with here. So I definitely have enough prints, which is good to know. And to be honest, I wasn't really keen on the idea of doing A4 prints in the first place. And looking at it, I don't even have space for A4 prints. So I don't think I'm going to bother with them. And to be fair, I don't offer A4 on my online store anymore. So it's definitely easier on myself to just stick with A5. in it. It's 11 a.m. I just got back from town. I spent $120 and all I got was this. Two ink cartridges and a hundred sheets of paper. Love that for me. I love spending ridiculous amounts of money on supplies 
for things that might not even sell. I'm making like 200 prints, so if I don't sell at least one, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. This is my stack of prints so far. I've got two on each page because for some reason my printer doesn't have an A5 setting, so I have to print everything on A4 and then cut it in half. I don't know, it works, it's fine. So far I've printed off like six or seven different designs and I've done 10 of each so far. I'm gonna go back and pick out the ones that I think will be most popular and print more but because it's a relatively small convention I don't think I'm gonna need that many but at the same time I want to make sure that I have enough. I have no concept of how much stock I need. <laughs> For my online store, I print everything to order, so like, I've never had to just print hundreds of things in one go before, and I'm scared. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I've been doing these past few days. I haven't really been filming it because there's only so many times you can watch a printer spit out a bit of paper. So today, I think I'm going to continue with my prints, and I think I'm either going to work on some new sticker designs, or maybe start making something in clay. universe has smiled upon me this day. <laughs> I started off the day on a slightly rough note. One of the things that was stressing me out was that my zines were running late and I was very concerned that they're not going to get here in time. Even though there's like three weeks to the convention so there was plenty of time. But I decided to check the mail today and oh, I'm so excited. I thought that they'd never get here. I'm also like very scared though because what if I open them and they're all terrible? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's unbox them. I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, okay. What the? It's already half open on the corner. I can see them flying around in there. I see the corner. I see the corner. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, 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 okay. My zines. So far so good, the cover looks all right. Also the cover lines up pretty good. I had to upload this as two separate images and I was scared that it wasn't gonna line up very well. So it's looking all right. Ah! I got a pop! <laughs> it worked. Look at them. Oh my God, this is crazy y'all. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so happy. And the cropping came out okay on this one. Oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. The background on this one came out dull for some reason. Other than that, it came out freaking perfect. What the heck? I am so excited. It actually worked. So I guess now I'm supposed to like count them, aren't I? <laughs> I've never had a product professionally made before, so I'm like, what do I do? <laughs>
So I just got done putting together some Farmer Cell sticker packs. I really like how these turned out. I think they're adorable. The only thing is I could only make six of them because I'm running out of sticker paper. I only have three sheets left and I want to make so many more stickers because I feel like stickers are one of the things that sell best at conventions at the very least they're what I'm drawn to at conventions because they're usually like small they're cheap they're easy to carry all of my prints are of my OCs so I feel like that might scare people off a little bit because they don't know who the characters are but at least with these you don't really need to know who the character is it just is a cute cat you know so yeah I wanted to make like 20 of these at least and now I've got six. It's a start, but I ordered a hundred sheets of sticker paper like two weeks ago and it still hasn't even left the building yet. Would have liked to have gotten further with this, but it is what it is. Instead of dwelling on my stickers, I think I'm gonna start on a batch of earrings. I think I'm only gonna make 10 pairs, which will be 20 individual stars. I think that's a lot. I can always make more down the track if it doesn't seem like enough, but I think 10 is a good place to start. So I'm going to get working on those today. And I definitely think I'm going to go with the new glaze. I am done with UV resin. Like it is just such a hassle. And the Liquitex high gloss glaze, it's just as glossy as UV resin. It just doesn't have that like ultra smooth finish. So if I'm just a little bit more careful with my brush strokes, it should turn out fine. Like I very roughly painted these and you can see all of the different brush strokes, but it doesn't even look that bad So I am probably going to have to change the backing card a little bit Maybe make it a bit smaller, but other than that, I think we're ready to go into mass production <laughs> So yesterday I finally caved and I bought myself a paper cutter. It was $45, which is why I was hesitant to buy it, but it's the sort of thing that I'm going to use outside of the convention as well, and I've needed a new one for a long time, so I thought, may as well. Because I've literally been putting off cutting these prints purely because my guillotine is so unreliable and I was dreading using scissors. So tragically though, as I was getting out of the car, I tripped and it cut all my hair off. It's a little shorter than I'd usually go for, but we've got two weeks to the convention. It'll be fine by then. So let's crack this bad boy open. I want to have a go. Very fancy. Let's do a test cut. So this is a print that didn't work out because I ran out of ink. So let's test it. I don't even know where to cut. It doesn't have any indication of like where A5 is. These measurements are in inches as well, which means literally nothing to me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a little wire. And supposedly that's meant to be exactly where it's gonna cut. It is done. 
they're not quite the same size though, so I'm definitely going to have to improve my A5 measurement. It would have been nice if they had like any indication of where like A4 is and A5 is, because my other one has that, but this just has inches. I'm from Australia, we don't use inches. So this is where it all started going downhill. As I was using it, I noticed that the blade wasn't sliding properly and it wasn't too much of an issue at first, but the more prints I cut, the worse it seemed to get. So I thought maybe since I'm cutting thick paper, it's not too thick, but maybe it's thick enough to cause an issue. So I tried out the new blade that came with it. I cleaned out all of like the pulpy paper from the track and I gave it a good slide back and forth just to like loosen anything that might have been trapped in there. But no matter what I did, it just would not slide properly. And eventually, because it wouldn't slide properly, it would get stuck halfway in my prints and it would tear them. It wasn't that big of a deal when it was just one or two, but then it started happening more and more often and I was getting really annoyed. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I just got a faulty one or if I was cutting paper that was too thick or I don't know what was going on, but all I knew is that it was not working right and I needed a better solution. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I am getting more and more frustrated with this thing. Look at what it's doing to my prints. I've literally just changed the blade. It doesn't matter what direction I cut in. Sometimes it cuts fine, other times it does this. Like, I've already lost like 10 prints because of it and it's happening more and more frequently. And a lot of the time when it does cut straight, it leaves like all of this pulp on the edges and it doesn't even like glides smoothly. It gets stuck halfway and then it starts tearing the paper. Like, I expected a lot more from Fiskars. Fiskars is generally a good brand, so I'm legitimately gonna take this back. Like, usually if I've destroyed the packaging, I won't take something back, but this is literally ridiculous. I'm not gonna ruin any more prints doing this. And the other thing is that this isn't even straight. You can't line prints up to cut them straight because this is crooked. So like, literally what's the point? I'm so annoyed. I'm literally gonna drop everything and take it back right now. Like I'm- Little did he know that this would be a decision that would change the course of his entire day. My car just fucking broke down. I'm it was not worth it just to get a freaking paper cut. I was so bummed that I just went and bought $45 worth of art supplies. Like I need to be doing that right now. I always keep a sketchbook in the glove box for this very reason. This is the artwork I made last time I broke down. It was not fun. Didn't think I'd be doing it again anytime soon. Tyrone is the name of my car. <laughs> Impromptu sketchbook tour. This was when I had to have my blood taken. I think this was the same day. I was feeling a little bit spaced out. <laughs> and this was when I was out to lunch with my friend the other day. Spiky boy. We gotta get a tow truck. Baby's first tow. <laughs> so you're officially stuck with me for the next hour and a half, but not really because my battery's running out. So <laughs> day 53, my rations are running low. I'm, I could just go out and buy more water, but I'm not actually that thirsty. <laughs> Move aside, Grogu. This is the first time I've sat down today. 
So I didn't really film a whole lot today just because I was kind of playing catch up after what happened yesterday. Not gonna lie, even though my car breaking down was quite the ordeal, it was a lot of fun. I just ended up sitting in my car drawing and then I got a ride in a tow truck. Like, I've never ridden in a tow truck before. It was fun. And the tow truck driver was really nice. He was really talkative. Loved it. It was great. It could have been the worst day ever, but honestly, it wasn't half bad. But today, like I said, I've just been playing catch up because I had a lot planned yesterday that didn't get done. I've been making prints, I've been glazing earrings, I've been designing packaging, putting things together. It's a lot. And I'm honestly starting to lose track of what I've filmed these last two weeks. So that's my cue to end the vlog. <laughs> so hopefully the next vlog you'll see will be the actual convention because as of right now it is two weeks to go. I don't think I'm going to film that much more of the prep work because I do just really want to focus on getting things done in time. So hopefully the next time I see you I'm at the convention. Don't know how much of it I'm going to film because I hate filming in public. But I'm definitely going to try my best because I have put a lot of work into this and I want to document it. <laughs> so with that, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, even though it was busy and a little bit chaotic. <laughs> but we had fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!